Hey everyone, I'm Fred Tolan with Invisio, and this is another in a series of online videos that will spotlight our tactical communications and hearing protection products. In this episode, we'll be covering the latest control unit in our V-Series Gen 2 collection, the V60 Gen 2 ADP. ADP, Audio Data Power. That's what this newest control unit can provide. It is the ultimate control unit and warfighter hub designed to bridge audio, data, and power, allowing you to have more capabilities with less devices, less cables, and less weight. Looking at the control unit, you'll see it looks almost identical to our V60 Gen 2, which is a combat-proven platform. You have your headset port, which fits all the Invisio headsets, as well as most in-service legacy headsets. It has three COM ports, one, two, and three, all of which are dual net capable. It has four push-to-talk buttons, or PTTs, one and two on the side, and three and four on the front, allowing you to communicate on multiple devices to include radios, intercom systems, and cell phones. It also has the mode button, which is used to change your situational awareness, or hear through. You can hear things at the natural setting, which will sound like you're not wearing any hearing protection at all. With a quick press, you can go to the enhanced setting, hearing things 10 decibels higher than you could with just your ears, giving you an advantage in many tactical situations. Or you could quick press it again and go into comfort hearing, 10 decibels below natural, which is ideal for environments with constant high noise as you'll experience less ear fatigue. You can even hold down the mode button and turn off your hear through if you're in a situation where you don't need situational awareness, allowing you to hear your receive comms even clearer. It also has all the same features as the previous V60 Gen 2. Some of these include AI to improve transmission quality, wireless capabilities utilizing our remote PTTs, environmental adaptation, which will adjust your radio volume depending on how loud your environment is, voice prompts to help guide you through some of the adjustable settings, squelch removal, getting rid of all the constant radio noise when you're not actively receiving audio, as well as dual hearing protection capabilities, allowing you to use both our X5 in-the-ear headset and T7 over-the-ear headset together while still having situational awareness, along with everything else we talked about in our previous V60 Gen 2 video, to include mil-spec compliance. Nothing is lost with this new V60. It only gets better. If we take a closer look at the COM ports, you'll see yellow rings on the outer edge. This identifies the control unit as having ADP capabilities. It would also have ADP etched in the exterior between the headset port and COM port 3. When we talk about the A in ADP, or audio, this control unit will allow digital audio cues to pass from an EUD, like an ATAC, to the headset, and from the headset to the EUD. And it lets you receive live streamed audio from connected peripherals, like cameras and drones. If you're looking for speech to text, it will do that too. It also optimizes safety and efficiency by providing voice prompts from your EUD to include text to speech so you don't have to look at it, and you can keep your focus on the battlefield. These notifications do have to be allowed and enabled within the EUD for this particular functionality. Getting to the D or data in ADP, this control unit will allow you to share data from data-enabled radios seamlessly without the use of a data hub. Now, none of that data is stored or saved. It's just shared between the devices. Lastly, we have the P or power in ADP. As with some previous versions of our control unit, this one does not have a power source of its own. It relies on power from either a radio or a battery that's connected to it. However, if that radio is capable of providing at least 7.2 volts of power, which can be adjusted within the radio settings, then this control unit will not only be powered, but you'll also be able to deliver power so you can charge your connected EUD while you're using it, keeping you in the game and improving your operational capabilities when it counts. If your radio isn't capable of pushing that kind of power, we also have radio cables with voltage converters, so it's still applicable. In some cases, we have users who are running two radios and an external battery connected to a data power hub that then runs to the EUD. This is six devices utilizing six cables on one user. With this system, you just need your radios, the V6280 p and your EUD, each with only one cable. You can have the same functionality with less devices, less cables, less weight, allowing you to do more with less while still having Invisio's market-leading hearing protection and situational awareness. Care and maintenance of this system hasn't changed either. 
As with our previous control units, this one is 20 meters submersible. So to clean it, you just need to wipe it down, remove any excess dirt or debris. Then you can rinse it under low pressure water or submerge it in a bucket if you wanted to. You can even have all the ports exposed. Then you just have to let it dry and you'll be good to go. You can also speed up the drying process with canned air. Just don't use an air compressor as those contain moisture and rust, which we don't want to introduce into the system. Then you just store it in a dry ventilated area, keeping any excess weight off it, and that's it. Maximum capability, reduced burden. Just another product from Invisio to protect and enable its users, ensuring they can protect others and complete their mission successfully. And that will do it for this video covering the V60 Gen 2 ADP control unit. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our website. We hope you found this helpful and informative. And thank you for watching.